Okay, I have no idea what happened there. I actually did a factory reset on my phone to wipe whatever was, oh, and here we are. So there's house number two, house number three. Looks like it was just painted on the outside, potentially. It looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, okay. All right, keep walking around here. While Leather opens the door. Don't forget the mask. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Bad videography there. All right. So stairs up here. Nice long driveway, right? So plenty of parking. It's not very wide. Well. It's, it's fine, yeah. And then you have extra parking over here, right? Plus that little garage down there. I didn't realize it was um, down the hill from that picture. Maybe you figured that out. I had not seen that. So, okay. This retaining wall looks like it's in really good shape. It's basically straight. Like sometimes they're leaning out, right? And I'm not seeing that here. Let me back up a little and Oh, wow, look at all the irises. Tons of irises. Holy smokes. That wall looks good. Okay. So you do have some road noise. And we'll look at the backyard from the deck up there. Um, you know, like if those lots were to get developed, you would have houses back there, right? Okay, just a little patch of grass here, quite a bit of moss in it. Um, tree root. There must have been a tree here. And I think this is an old tree root because the direction that tree root is going does not connect to anything. Okay, cedar, that's really far away. That big cedar over there. Anyway, I think my first guess is that this is a tree root from a tree that's gone. Okay. Take off my shoes. It smells like Grandma and Grandpa's house. I, I don't know if you know what smell I'm talking about, but I see it with affection. It just smells like talcum powder. Um, and Grandma and Grandpa. What do you say, Leather? It has that indescribable, but certainly identifiable smell. <laughs> okay, so typical split entry. So when we're talking about a split entry home, less than 2,000 square feet, I had to lay my coat down. Um, I say that a split entry home has to be a minimum of 1,750 square feet to work. So we have a pretty small entry here. Um, you do have double doors, which is rare. That's really nice, but there's just not a lot of space here when guests come in. And that's just the, what I'm gonna call the nature of the beast of, oops, I just closed my coat in there, of most split entry homes, okay? It did feel clean enough that I wasn't creeped out by putting my coat on the floor. Okay, we've got some dings there, and they've done some Pat some paint work here with a different sheen of paint. <laughs> so. Uh, I just want to say this area seems like it'll have, uh, it seems like it might have light switch triggered sockets as there's no overhead. Right. So. And it's got the popcorn ceiling. Right. So there's a good chance there's asbestos in it. And the scoop with that is if you don't bump it, it's a great fireproofing. You don't want to bump it because, um, then the asbestos becomes friable, which means dust-like, which means it becomes breathable. So in a 1974 home, there's a very good likelihood that there could be asbestos in that ceiling. And around here, we don't test for it typically. Um, it's not part of your home inspection, okay? And this is just, it's, it's everywhere in 1974 to 19... 78 or even older 1970 to 1978 homes in this area. This is just the way it was everyone did this So you can scrape it you can hire a pro some people will do it themselves um, 
Wanted to call out that these are double pane windows, but they are the old aluminum windows. They're not the updated vinyl. So they're still double pane. So they still have a level of energy efficiency to them, but they're not as efficient as the vinyl windows. So um, old Northwest design there in that window. Okay, Southwest? Northwest? <laughs> it's almost a Southwest design. <laughs> Okay, so very, very original here. You know, they might have updated these cabinets in what, the late 80s, early 90s, from what used to be here. So this might, this kitchen may have been updated once. Oh my gosh, these, these are lightly pink countertops. Yes, they truly are. First I thought it was an optical illusion, but they are just very lightly pink. Okay, and green. Oh yeah, we're talking 90s <laughs> because we've got the pink and green. So yep, early 90s for these cupboards. Okay. So they've done the sponge painting on the walls too. It's actually fairly, you know, it's not distasteful. I, I'm not sure that I would leave it, but got the wood outlets. So gas control for the fireplace there. Oh, it's like a... I thought it was a pellet stove at first. Nope, that's just the vent. Okay. Definitely a gas fireplace. Cable outlet. Yeah, Southwest mm -hmm. design there in the window. Can't find the switch for it. No? Okay. Maybe it's a remote again because it's a ceiling fan. So we've got original hallway gold fixtures here. Closet. Okay, we've got shelving there and then for the coats on that side and sometimes um, homes this size only have two bedrooms upstairs this one has the three bedrooms upstairs I feel a slight dip in the floor right there mm -hmm. so it seems somewhat common in a lot of split entry homes to have that dip right there have you noticed that yeah you know I have and these are always poured on a slab so it just means that this end of the home has settled a tiny bit. Um, okay, so we have master on this side of the hall. The end of the hall, there's no closet at the end. Sometimes there is. Okay, and then bedroom one and two. Oh my gosh, teddy bear. <laughs> Excuse me. Wallpaper border. Okay, so we have a failed seal in this window. Okay, so that window is due for replacement. Uh, both sides so and there's window companies out here that do that all the time hello so we've got the wood wainscoting here beadboard chair rail wainscoting okay the trim this is your attic access here oh failed window seal in this window as well okay Um, broken mirror, closet door, might want to update those anyway. So the dip that we were talking about in the floor, it's just one of those, it is what it is. You're not going to hire a slab jack to change it. Um, it's just, and it's not significant, but I'm definitely mentioning it because it's, well, I guess it's significant enough to mention. Um, it's it's no not way. frightening. How's that? It's definitely noticeable. It's not something we want to conceal. It's dishonest. Of course. Yes, yes. All right, so the deck out there. Leather, will you grab my shoes from the entry and put them by the... Of course. Actually, there might be a... a we'll just grab them yeah. on our way down maybe, and there's a door outside. Kind of narrow entry to the shower, but it's got some good elbow room inside. Yeah, it's a good-sized shower. So, but with the sliding doors there, it is a little skinny entry so yeah that same slightly pink countertop can you tell it's slightly pink there now that's a pretty good representation of the true color there we've got the original um <coughs> wood bar oak mirror okay vinyl flooring the the carpet pad in this room especially is great if you like blue carpet, 
it's blue. I That's not my favorite. The carpet pad in these is normal, more builder grade. Um, it's got a couple stains on the carpet. <laughs> yep, I saw that one. Thank you. A um, couple spots in the carpet on this one. Is this different carpet than the other room? It's a little hard to tell because the light fixtures are a different color. And that one has, has some sunlight or, you know, cloud I light going I think it's different it. carpet in these two rooms. It's hard to tell. It is Actually, hard to you tell. Know what? This one's a little more gray. Yeah, different just carpet. A tiny bit. It's not not that it matters. I'm just pointing it out to you guys in case it matters to you. So, okay, we do not have pink countertop. This actually has texture. And wow, look at the sink. Sink is ready for replacement. Okay, same oak. Everything here, oak. Solid tub. Original fixtures. Okay, laminate flooring here. Thanks for putting my shoes there. Yeah, well, let's look. It looks like there are slats. It's an MDF kind of a slightly thick, but that's a laminate on top of whatever. I would not call that a solid hardwood. Okay. So this looks like an Anderson window. It's all wood. That's expensive. Oops. Oh, thank you. Will you get that for me? Uh, top, a, up at the top. Ah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there's some road noise. And you might have a house right back there, but you're above it. Because that's definitely lower over there. Um, the deck, I'm not worried about falling through the deck. But in the next five years, for sure, if not sooner, you'll want to replace this decking maybe not the whole structure but the decking on top so or maybe in the summer when it dries out you can put a protective coating on it and get more life out of it than that big duck okay So again, a fairly busy road. Here we are at noon, and you can hear the amount of cars going by. <clears throat> so, covered area. All right, so check out downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw this in the photos, but yeah, we've got the fluorescent lights there. Can you grab my shoes again, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I, there might be one downstairs that I can go walk out in the backyard. I hope that there's a <clears throat> door. I wish I could tell you I remember. It's funny how we can blitz through houses and not remember what we've seen. Okay, dog door to the garage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Laundry room, straight ahead. Um, combined with a half bath, very common in split entry homes. Okay, window, fluorescent light. Sometimes these are almost unfinished too. So this is a basically a finished laundry room. They've got more shelving, it's just stackable on top of a countertop there. It looks like you could take those uppers off if you wanted. It's just painted concrete foundation on that side. No exit on this floor. Oh, so yeah, no door to the backyard down here. So here they've got their cable. So this could, oh. Well, you could wall it off. You could leave it open. <laughs> there was a sliding door there previously. Yeah, it looks like they had, it might have just been like that accordion track kind of thing though. I don't know. Or a bifold door, possibly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, probably a bifold door based on the, there's, yeah, definitely a bifold. So, okay, so it's a wood room with the paneling, it's ceiling. Um, there's a possibility that this is asbestos tile as well. I'm not too sure. Could be. <clears throat> Something I wanted to point out, that fan right there, that fan heater, draws from the front door area. It comes this way? Yes. Oh, how weird. I would have thought it would suck the heat from the wood. Are you sure it's not reversible? I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Uh, it might be reversible, and that would make more sense to pull the heat from this wood stove upstairs. It's possible. So, that sounds like something Grandma and Grandpa would do. Like, heat the home with wood and then circulate the, the heat that way. <laughs> okay. That's, that's the downstairs. Got storage under the stairs here. We always have this in a split entry home. Which is oh. a little bit nicer than usual. It is. Yep. They've got all pegboard lined up for tools. Okay. And there's power in there. They've got, you know, these lights are uh, wired <laughs> to the outlet. Okay. And it goes all the way under the stairs. So you can utilize every bit of it. I guess I should put the camera down there. Even put room up here to hang things. Yep, I've got storage for every everything. <clears throat> and of course the garage. Garage. Put my shoes on. Ah, brightly lit garage. Oh, there's a heater in there. Mm -hmm. And then the we've garage. got the second garage out there. Did you have another key to maybe access that second garage? I do. Awesome. Okay, they put um, foam insulation. In the panels of the garage door here, this is a do-it-yourself <coughs> insulation job. Okay. It's not bad for uh, for temperature in here. Uh uh. Think, this uh, looks like a possibly an original furnace. What's our service dates here? Sixteen. Maybe it's not an original furnace. So this through me that looks older so maybe that's a new sticker i i don't know <laughs> for for servicing and uh they've got a newer uh water heater how it has, newer it has the uh uh expansion tank up top okay yeah i'm not sure how new that is they've for the age of the house it's new okay perfect <laughs> it's not original Literally, the house Leather grew up in, um, the water heater was old when we bought the house. We lived there 16 years, and it was still going, so it was a very old water heater in that one. I need a key to get out of this, please. <clears throat> so you do have access to the backyard through the garage. <clears throat> yep. Actually, this one says garage door outside. I assumed it meant for the exterior one. Maybe it works for both. We'll see. How odd to have a key for both sides. Okay. I don't know that we'll be able to get into that garage. This key might do it. Let me get my shoes. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave the key here. Okay. So the end of that fence there is probably the property line, which is probably in keeping with this post. And the cleared area, yeah, see there's some more, two more tall posts there in front of the ivy. So pretty much to the cleared area and the ivy is probably the yard. The interior garage door to the house locks behind you. Okay. <clears throat> well, I don't think we locked the front door as we came in so <coughs> all right I'm gonna turn this off we'll do some exploring and